hey guys the most powerful tool for color grading for color correction for everything color in photoshop is the adobe camera Raw, which is very similar to lightroom classic and lightroom mobile let me show you what i'm talking about we'll name this fixed color now convert this layer to smart object so that you can come back and adjust the setting or the filter we are going to apply come to filter camera roll filter after loading you observe your image what's wrong with this image and what needs to be fixed in color terms first of all you, you will notice that this image is no towards the magenta side of color like everything has this general magenta on it it's not red noisy greenish but it's having magenta i will have to reduce the magenta how do you do that you won't believe that camera has one slider that does that job efficiently which is the tint take down the tint The value will vary. I think this is all right for this image, minus 25. Subscribe if you haven't already because we we'll go through more values and use more images, fix more challenges, and then you get used to it. I begin to move it correctly for different images. Let's take a look at the before and after. So as the before, too much magenta, this is the after. As see it's getting balanced now from here we can go to this section color mixer and adjust the tone a little bit in the hue we can see we can move it around this to remove the too much red ishness of the image move it the red slider towards the right removes the red and make it slightly greenish like more greenish taking it to the left make it more magenta-ish so if you want to understand more about this hsl sliders here you can use your color wheel as a reference now let's brighten this up a little bit let's take a look at the before and the after this the before and this is the after I'll show you something very powerful immediately after this fixing of color and adjusting of the color. Just stick around. It will change your editing game forever. You'll be very happy you found it. So come down here to the shadow, which must be this side, and adjust the shadows to the blue. and adjust the saturation this was the before this is the after just to complement the warm colors in a mid-tone and highlight so now let's take a look at the general before and after this was the before and this is the after now create a levels adjustment and pull in some black to remove this feed you are seeing here just a little bit of it I think around eight is not bad you can move this one also a little bit let me input the value manually this was the before this is the after Let's take a look at the general before and after. This was hold alt and click on the background layer. See the before and the after. You can see that this color is balanced now. What else can we do to it? We can grade it. Let me show you a one click approach to grade your image. Ctrl Shift Alt and hit E to create a star visible layer. Rename is color grid. Now convert to smart object as always. 
editing in a non-destructive way is very flexible and is encouraged among Photoshop users. So I start practicing to get used to this kind of editing method. So now let's come here and load load setting. And from this preset, you can try them out and see the one that works best. See minimatic one. This is not the look I'm looking for. It works for another image, but not for this. You can see this is a very good color grading, but not what I want for this image. Okay, this is amazing. This is exactly the kind of tone that will work great for this. This was the before balanced image, after color graded image with just one click. I have over 2,500 of them. Camera roll preset, Lightroom preset, DNG files, Lightroom templates, lots. You can check the description for such resources. So, after applying the color grading, this is amazing and all right, but you can just take your brush and max it out of where you do not want it to be applied. So control I to invert the smart filter max to make it black and remove the effect from all over the image. Then take your brush, make sure your foreground is white adjust the flow reasonable flow and then paint over where you want to review this effect i think i want this particular grading only on her skin so we can keep the multiple colors of the flowers of her hair and the background use the forward slash key to review this red overlay that shows you where the max is being applied and where it's being reviewed. Toggle between black and white to max out and to review the effect. Use X on your keyboard to toggle. Take your time and do this. Again, you toggle between the red overlay with the four slash key. This was the before, this is the after. You can use your opacity slider to take this down. Let's take a general look at the before and after. Before, after, before, after. You can go on to add other presets or add other color grading to each of either the background, the fabric or the flash. You can adjust opacity here and there. So subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. We'll be turning out more amazing videos on this channel. Focused on color, on retouching, on everything photography. So like this video as a sign of support. Check the link in the description for more amazing stuff. Happy to be part of your creative journey. Thanks and see you in another amazing video.